At the Breslin Center in East Lansing, a Michigan State team that's starting to hit its stride, taking on a Minnesota Golden Gopher squad, still trying to find its identity. In the Big Ten standings, you've heard a lot about Ohio State and Wisconsin for good cause, but now Michigan State are starting to make its move, and by season's end, it looks like they're going to be right in the middle of the Big Ten race once again. It's always a buzz in the is zone, especially now that the Spartans are playing really good basketball. They hope to extend a conference winning streak here tonight. Michigan State has been perfect here at home this year, so a very tough assignment for Minnesota's Golden Gophers. You look at the starting lineups. There's Neitzel, and it's McKenzie given the early task of trying to control him. Sutan off the glass gets it to Brown. With his back to the basket in the paint. Ebok passes and then sets a screen. And then posts up. Coleman hits the deck, and Ebok scores. Jim Molinari took over. He started to put his offense in. Just when the team was clicking, Spencer Tollickson goes out. Now, when he comes back a week from this weekend, that's their fourth season. It's been very difficult. Raymar Morgan. Spartans have been doing more running lately, and they try here. But the Gophers got back. Walton puts the Spartans in front for the first time. Dick, the beauty of the 70% of Minnesota's offense, and that was a beautiful delivery by Dan Coleman. Sutan puts the Spartans back in front. He's got four. Good in for the Spartans. Morgan hits a 15-footer. Dick against Illinois. Tom is okay. You know, Jim Molinari doesn't have the depth, and he has rotated players in and out of the starting lineup, trying to find a lineup that clicks. Nitro gets his. It's a two. It's his first bucket. That he enjoys the way that they play. Very much a scouting report team. Drew Nitro making the smooth in the corner. A miss. Rebounded by Joseph. And now the shot by Joseph. Sophomore from Quebec. Jump shot, and when you don't get any rest, that's what happens. Neitzel buries the three. 68% from the field, and they're just as hot again here tonight. Yeah, Drew Neitzel is a matchup nightmare because he's strong off the dribble, can make the jump shot. And I remember when he came in as a freshman or sophomore, his job was to run the offense. High assist, low turnover. Into the arc and misses. Gray tips it to Namick, kept alive, and finally recovered by Gray. Neitzel hits again. Eight for Neitzel. Asked to score more this year. From the outside, they've hit three of four tries outside the arc, opening up a 10-point lead. to four Spartan run and now a 10-point Michigan State lead. Tonight's game is produced. And oh, point guard is not his natural position. Bryce Webster on the floor for Minnesota as Jonathan Williams has just picked up his second foul. Seven here on the road. Yeah, this is the best Michigan State defense I've seen in the last four years. Largest lead. And I want you to watch the delivery. Nice cut inside. That's the reason that Michigan State is now diversified. Contest the rebound. Sutton has it. Up the floor for Morgan. Here as the Spartans continue to extend the lead now to 15 points. And they're going nuts in the Izzo. Minnesota to Michigan State. I'm... I'm 100% convinced that Dan Munson is an outstanding coach. He just didn't recruit the state well enough, and that's the reason things didn't work out. Cameron Taylor for Wisconsin, another. Is facing that when you have a roster, and these kids, to me, look beaten up. They've been through a lot this year, and, and I, I just get the sense that in the Big Ten, you can't have any sympathy. 
Sutton takes the feed from Gray, and he's got it. Seventy percent of Michigan State's baskets come off of an assist. Great drive, unselfishness, and that's a lot of chemistry. The Michigan State big guys have been working very hard after practice at sharing, and that's what happens when it, it comes. On the Gophers here in the first half so far, inside of a minute. Joseph hits a three, his second. Sutan on the floor for Michigan State, low post speed. Basket goes to Morgan. The last few games, and you and I saw it in the Northwestern game. Drop down low, Morgan around Peyton scores. With a little momentum. Uh, exactly. If, if Minnesota's not going to get good looks inside, a three-pointer such as the one he just took is eventually what the possession would end up with anyway. Uh, at this point in time, Lawrence McKenzie, as you see the fine work on the glass by the Spartans. Namick gets the five to shoot. Left on the floor, Namick leaves it for Walton, who scores. Five for trap by Morgan. Alley oops, Sutan converts. Here's and the team comes out and executes. I also like Minnesota in zone defense here. Namick. Webster guarding him and Namick with the hook shot score. That leads the conference. This will do nothing but boost that number higher. Joseph hits a three for Michigan State. I would guess that if, if one thing would bother Tom Izzo more than anything else, it's giving up an offensive rebound. Brandon Smith, I believe, of Minnesota, as Decree take it all, takes it all the way in. And it's a big lead for Michigan State. They've doubled up the Gophers. Has it. For the Spartans. Trying to think of a player in the Big, hand, hand, in the big Ten that has diversified Offensively as well as nice of being able to go right and left so well. Great feed from Neitzel, finding Namick on the pick and roll. <laughs> At the floor, and then to get out in transition. Marquise Gray took a fade. So what do you think about that Michigan State, Wisconsin, or I'm sorry, the Michigan, Wisconsin game later this evening? Unless or until somebody beats Wisconsin, I'll take the easy pick there. Yeah. Michigan State and Wisconsin combine rebounding and interior toughness. The Spartans in control of things, much to the delight of the is own. Take a look at some other scorers. Right. Neitzel with a steal. On the run, he takes the return pass and scores. Have another option out there to score some points and if Abu Shamala can at least come out of this game with maybe some improved shooting confidence there might be a benefit there. Still think he's going to be a really strong wide receiver for the Spartans down the road. Brandon Darnton uh, running the point for Michigan State. Wow. And it finished 70 to 46. And Tom Izzo's team losing two in a row to start the Big Ten season. Now's won four in a row. And uh, everything's teed up for the big matchup Saturday night in Columbus. Yeah, Tom Izzo knew that he had more weapons on both ends of the court. And if they brought outstanding effort, they would win this game. They certainly did that. The execution was a thing to enjoy. So Michigan State beats Minnesota 70-46.